All right, this is grade three, module five, lesson 12. And in this lesson, <clears throat> students are going to be given a fraction and then they have to identify what would the whole look like if they're given a particular fraction. So let's get started on that. So for this problem, uh, we are told that we're given this fraction. We're given one sixth and the one sixth looks like this. So this is one-sixth, and our task is to draw a picture of what one whole might look like. And I love this problem because there's more than one answer, and yet there's not really more than one right answer. So let's, let's talk about this. Okay, so first off, um, so first let's kind of remind ourselves of what a fraction is. So a fraction, remember that denominator tells you the number of equal parts in one whole. So in this case, the 5 means the whole would have 5 equal parts. And the numerator means we are currently looking, or we've highlighted, in this case, 3 of those 5 equal parts. All right. So that's our big reminder for this lesson, and I'm going to put that out of the way. So. We're looking at one-sixth. Now that six means the whole will have six equal parts. And this is one of those parts because we're told it's one because that's the one right there. So one part, not parts. Okay, so that's one part. So if we want to draw one whole, that means we want to draw six-sixths. So we're going to need one two, three, four, five, six. So there is a picture of what one whole would look like. All right. Um, now, does it have to be arranged that way? No way. Students could have done six, six. They could have made it look like this is going to be good. Yeah, okay, that's pretty close. They could have looked like that, and that could have equaled one whole. But what's non-negotiable is that we needed six squares, is what this problem is looking at. Now, we could arrange those six squares any way we want, uh, but it's got to have six squares. Let's do another practice <coughs> of this uh, uh, sort. So we've got one-fourth, all right? So that means we know the whole has four parts, total number of parts in one whole, and we are currently looking at one of those pieces. So that is one-fourth. So that means four-fourths is going to be four of those, and we can arrange them. Oh my goodness, how am I going to do this? One, <laughs> two, oh goodness, three, Oh, I, my drawing is horrible. <laughs> four. So there's our four parts. That's one way to do it. Um, teachers clearly let your kids have fun when they're doing this and trying to draw their four-fourths. In fact, this problem might be really nice to pass out pattern blocks and let students use their pattern blocks to build their figures. In fact, that's a great idea for your lesson itself as you're building your concept development. Uh, use pattern blocks and give students a, a figure and say, okay, let's say, oh, you know, with pattern blocks, um, you might say, okay, well, here's a triangle, and that triangle represents uh, one-fifth. Now draw me one whole. All right. And then what would one whole look like? And then an, another example might be grab that red trapezoid. And you could say this trapezoid represents, uh, I don't know, one-fourth. And what would one whole look like? All right, so you could use pattern blocks and make a really beautiful lesson out of this concept. More of the same, only this time they're adding in the concept of a number bond, which is su super important. It helps students understand how things are decomposed and composed. So we're told that we have a picture here that is one-fifth. So we're going to draw what one whole would look like. So that means we're going to need five of those skinny sticks. One, 
two, three, four, five. And they'd like us, oh my goodness, they'd like us to write in the fraction for each one of those things. So let's do that. So that's one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, and one fifth. So there's our, our drawing that they wanted us to do. And then they want us to build a, a number bond. Okay, so that's going to look like a one. And then how many fifths are we going to have? We're going to have five of those things. One fifth, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, and one fifth. And there is our number bond that matches our drawing. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 12, where students are given a fraction, and then they're told to draw a picture of what one whole would look like.